Hi everyone, as you can see, uh, there are many items right here. I just got a delivery of the full turkey and toy day set in all color variants, including furniture items, clothing items, DIY recipes. And just in the spirit of full transparency, I obtained these through Etsy using like cold hard American dollars like real cash. So don't wonder why um, you haven't been able to obtain these items. They locked time travel so you cannot time travel to get these items. The only way uh, to get these items are from hacked switches, which apparently there's a large circulation of. So what I'm gonna do, and there's more in my pockets, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna lay out, do some organizi organizing, lay out these items, learn the recipes, and show you guys what they look like. So stay tuned. Welcome back guys. So that took me a while to set out everything and hi Julia, <laughs> organize it for you. But thank you so much. This will definitely be worth your time. There are so many cute items and so many variations in this new update. Uh, I'm really pleased. So what we're going to do is I'm going to showcase, hi Rod. I'm going to showcase to you items in chronological order, Turkey Day first, then Toy Day, and then New Year's. And and then I'm gonna show you some clothing items as well as indoor wallpapers, floorings, and anything that's that's wall mounted. So let's get started. So over here we have turkey day items. So on the floor you see the table setting right here as well as the casserole. And then on here you see this cornucopia thing which looks super awesome on top of the turkey day table as well as a turkey day chair next to it. And over here, you see a little Turkey Day decorations, I believe it's called, on top of the Turkey Day hearth. And then over here, you have the Turkey Day wheat something, wheat decor, and then the, the Turkey Day garden stand. So those are your Turkey Day items. And let me show you here. They're all, they are actually all DIY recipes, I believe, if I sort by time. Oops, order. So... Ooh, okay. So, spoiler alert for some future items. So, the wheat decor, you can make it with 10 weeds. The casserole, you can make with five iron nuggets and one clay. Turkey day table, some hardwood and softwood. Uh, turkey day garden stand, stone and clay. And as you can see, most of these, all of these turkey day items are customizable. The other customization is the spring bloom option. That's more green. So if you guys are in the Southern Hemisphere, they didn't forget about you guys. Um, so the other Turkey Day recipes are the decorations, the hearth, the chair, and the table setting. So you guys pause this video right now um, and collect materials if you are looking forward to crafting these items. And you can see while I'm here, there is a wallpaper that's a DIY for Christmas and the wrapping paper we saw in the trailer is a DIY made of a big, um, red, blue, and gold ornaments. And interesting, so the materials for the gift pile are red wrapping paper, wooden block toy, and cardboard box. I guess that makes sense. And uh, a rug is a DIY, the festive rug, which again requires ornaments. And if you didn't know, if you just shake your cedar trees in festive season, which I believe starts on December 16th, um, you can get a ton of ornaments. So just keep shaking them like you would when you shake for acorns and pine cones in the fall. So that is a quick DIY overview. Let's continue looking at the turkey day items. Let me open up my camera to just give you guys a slightly better view. So I think the items all look really adorable and I know what the Nintendo was trying to do with not being able to obtain these until the day of real time, but it's going to be really disappointing to not have these ahead of time to decorate for Thanksgiving because essentially, at least in my opinion, the day Thanksgiving is over, you need to get rid of these items. So do you guys agree? Let me know your, your thoughts in the comments below. Um, so that concludes our turkey day items. Cheers! I know that's a New Year's thing. Anywho, uh, so if we start with the toy day items, there are a ton of toys and they are so adorable. Obviously here you can see there are one, two, three, four, five dinosaurs. Um, this green one looks like the dinosaur from Toy Story. I, the name is escaping me, but what's even cooler is check this out. Let's zoom in so you can get a better view. Oops, I need to put away my, my... Anyways, I wanted to show you the interaction. Watch this. Guys, 
how freaking adorable. And look at this like red and black one. It looks so cool. Like look at those. That is a picture right there. Really good job there. So moving on from the dinosaurs, the next toy item is these helicopters. Like look at them. I think that blue in the middle is a repeat. I'm gonna take it away. Again, so many different color variants. I'm really happy. I really love the pink and the purple on the end there, but they all just look incre incredibly good. Excuse me. Where's my delight? They look so good. Um, and that's not even the best part. Watch this. Brace yourselves. They fly. Like what? And the little, oh my gosh. And the little like... I guess the radio part, the bottom part, stays on the ground. Like, what? Oh my gosh. I can't even right now. I have to take a... Okay, so they do come down, but I want to take a picture. This is the proper reaction. Wow, so really good job there with the helicopters. And moving on from that, you can see there are kids' tents over here. And again, I am loving the variations. This one kind of looks circusy in my opinion. And then you have like a blue and white stripes. You have a plain white one, a plain black one. You have a pink one, which I think is absolutely adorable. A bright yellow one with some flowers on the side. Let's see if you can see that for yourself. A little brown one and then Pardon my island for not having enough space to show you guys this. And then a blue and yellow one in the back there. So they are not interactable. You cannot go in them. But nonetheless, I think they look super cute. And it does seem to have a theme that they have like every item in. Like pink and blue and black. Like that pink tent would match the pink helicopter and so forth. But obviously there's only five... Uh, dinosaurs so it's not one for one exactly um, but yeah and the rest of my toy items are that way I actually have to move this to make space but uh, one of my favorite items is over here look at how beautiful the sleigh is like that looks incredible and in front of it is a a toy toy pile um, that's a separate item just so we're clear but this sleigh is absolutely beautiful. And for example, can I sit on it? <gasps> oh my goodness. I, I cannot. I am officially like, I'm Santa. Where's my laughter? There we go. Ho, ho, ho. I wish we had a ho, ho, ho reaction. Anywho, wow, you can sit on the sleigh. But for example, like, it would be so sad if I obtained this sleigh on, say, Christmas Eve in real time. I would have no time to showcase it on my island. It would be like buying a Christmas tree on Christmas Eve in real life. Um, and this gift pile is customizable. I will show you guys that later when we go to the workbench. But yeah, so far, I think these items all look really, really good. So I'm going to go around here because... Um, my flow isn't exactly, look at Julia, in time order. Um, so over here, we just have a few bonus items. I, th I think these are like cultural New Year's items. Um, I am not, I don't know what all these items are. So please educate me in the comments below. I will do some research. So you have this bamboo thing and it's called, let's see, what's it called? A, a cat. Ketomatsu. I'm assuming it's a Japanese something. So please let me know what that is. And then over here you have a little zoom in for you guys. You have a little like toy playset. I'm sorry, I don't know the names of these items until I grab them. So I do know this item is an ox figurine. So that represents Chinese New Year. It is the year of the ox in 2021. I think it's really awesome that they chose to incorporate. Um, all different cultural items so i can tell you that that is an item that represents the ox in chinese new year so super awesome do job nintendo and then this item is called a, a cat kaga mimochi i'm sorry guys so please let me know how to pronounce that correctly and then this one is 
a yut nori. I'm not sure what those items is. I will do some research after the fact. Um, but yeah, let's continue on. There's a lot more toys to be seen. So, so for you dog lovers, you're gonna you're gonna be crazy about this. Look at this. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight variants of the the t the puppy. Like, and it moves. So I guess R.I.P. to all moms plushies, because look at it. If you have like a dog park, oh my goodness, I cannot even. Like if you have a dog park or at least anywhere with a dog house, like I have one in front of my house that has mom's plushie right now, you are obviously immediately gonna replace it with one of these dogs. And look at the different colors you can have. You can have a Dalmatian, you can have a brown one, a pink one, a gray one, a black one, and a peach colored one, as well as like a beagle looking one. They just look so amazing. And I think the um, animation is, is the best part. Wow, look at it. It is truly incredible. Okay, so next over here, you can see is Jingle's photo. So that is customizable like any other villager photo. And then over here you have four pop-up books. So wait for it. Oh, let me move this just so I can get through. Watch this. Flowers, how cool is that? This one is a uh, Jaws. And the next one, can I go around so I don't block you guys? A lion, wow. I'm actually seeing these for the first time with you. And this one is a dinosaur. So uh, long story short, with these pop-up books, like forget all the normal books you have laying around on your island. Like you're gonna replace it with these amazing pop-up books. And over here to the left, you see dollhouses that look really cool. And again, the color variants kind of match the variants for the other toys. You have, you had like the purple tent and the pink tent and the purple helicopter and the pink helicopter. So all these dolls, I don't think you can interact with them. Let me zoom in to give you a closer look. They just look so adorable. And then over on, oh, I'm facing these circuits. So if you guys are into cars or toy cars, they move as most of these toy items. I think they just look so cool. They, it would be a pretty cool addition if you have like a train set anywhere. Really pleased with this. Damn, I, I need to start rethinking like where I can incorporate these items on my island. Um, so moving forward, uh, the last of our toy set is these tin robots. And let's see, six, eight color variants. That's a lot. And, and it moves. Like, look how adorable. Look at it move. It moves. So let's see, there's eight of these and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, if I'm not miscounting, dollhouses. So they tried to get like one of each color item, which I think is really awesome. Let me know what your favorite color variants and your favorite toy is in the comments below. So over here, we have this massive 2021 arch. So we have now approached like the New Year's area. Um, really surprised by how big this arch is, but I think it looks very nice. And to our left right here, we have some New Year's food items, which um, they, I know they released in the Japanese trailer, I believe. So again, incorporating like different cultures, you have grapes, you have ramen, you have, I don't know what that's called. I'll have to grab it to tell you guys, but these items all look really cool and will be um, really great with the champagne. Let's see, that's the ramen, that's the grapes, and this is the Oliver salad, okay. And then that is a German thing, I believe, Berliner, that's right. So yeah, that showcases all of the, oh, wait. Are those lights on for the dollhouse? So, I, so they are interactable. 
Wow, they light up, you guys. So that concludes the kind of items that are placeable outside portion. So what I'm gonna do now is show you guys some customizations. All right, you the cutest. Show you guys some customizations and outfits and all the wallpaper, floorings, and wall mountable items in the house. So be back in one second. So here we guys are at the customization bench. Just wanted to show you guys what's customizable. So the gift pile first and foremost um, comes in colorful, cute, cool, chic, and elegant. I really like this blue chic. That would go super well with the white version of the big festive tree. So yeah, a few color choices for the gift pile, which all look really, really good. And I believe the rest are turkey day items. So turkey day table setting comes in fall harvest and spring blooming. That's actually a really sharp green. I like that. Um, and I believe the rest of the, the casserole. So all the turkey day items, I really like this green. Green used to be my favorite color as a kid. So all the turkey day items come in like this brown and this green, so pretty cool there. And so this turkey day garden stand comes in fall harvest or spring bloom, so a white or a gray. It requires two kits to customize. And I think this is a very nice replacement for a stone stool if you're using a stone stool to kind of lift anything up as decoration on your island. I will definitely be doing that myself. And just a reminder, these turkey day items are recipes so you can craft more if you'd so want to. So just showing you some of the variations of the turkey day items. And then Jingle's photo over here, just like any other villager photo, if you haven't tried to customize those, you definitely can. They come in a few options you can see here and you can place them or hang them on your wall. And then this pocket camp phone case, you would come to the bench to use the to apply the phone case to your phone it would consume the item you can't customize the case itself so yeah those are the customizations of the items so it seems like the theme is most thanksgiving items are customizable and most christmas items are not which makes sense because of all the variants that they have and I just think it's very interesting all the color variants they chose to make separate items as opposed to customizable. So here we are showcasing the indoor items. I'm going to put down a closet real quick because I still need to show you guys the, uh, I can change with this right, the clothing items. So let's move this back. So right now I am wearing the Santa hat, the Santa beard. Those are just some regular old black boots that go with the outfit. Uh, and the Santa coat, I believe it's called. So if we go over here, I have the remaining clothing items in my pockets. Get changed. So you can have Santa pants. And then there is this really cool reindeer outfit. And that's pretty much it for the clothing. So you have a Santa outfit and a reindeer outfit. I'm gonna stay in this outfit for now. So here we are in the indoor item showcase. And as you can see, this is the Aurora wall. It looks really cool, especially when you dim the lights. So very pumped to see my island with this kind of colorations in the sky. And on this wall right here, you can see there are a lot of stockings. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six different variants of stockings. And these are not customizable. Um, so you will have to obtain all the variants if you so choose. I really like the the colorful one at the bottom. I think that screams kind of Christmas and it'll look perfect above a fireplace. And over here we have some wreaths. We have a holiday wreath and I'll try to interact with it once I put my camera away. And then we have this other wreath. I forget what it's called and I'm sure that's a cultural item. But yeah, just some more door wreath options. And... Is this interactable? No, I really, I feel like with the bell there, I really kind of hoped it was interactable. Can I lower it?
Okay. Um, and over here you have the Turkey Day flooring. Let me just move the rug out of the way so you get a little bit of a closer look. It looks like the harem flooring that the game already has, but in a more like varianted brown, if that makes sense. And there's a few more rugs I want to show you. So Turkey Day rug. Okay, so looks like a nice fall-y, have some green springs in their rug. Okay. And then you have the sunflower rug. Ooh, I think that's really pretty. That would look super good as a like centerpiece of like say an all white bathroom or something in my opinion. So we have the sunflower rug. We have summer shell rug. Okay, cool. And this is obviously the summer shell in the form of a rug. I always think items like this are super cute. So again, I think this would look really great in a bathroom or maybe in my bathroom. So I will definitely try that out. Um, let's see, are there any more rugs to be shown? So, okay, so now that that's all done with the rugs, there are a few more walls. Wow, this wallpaper looks actually incredible. Like, look at the animation of the snow falling. And this is a DIY recipe to remind you guys. I really like this wallpaper. I'm sure I'm going to be seeing a lot of people changing their living rooms to this wallpaper. So yeah, falling snow wallpaper. What else do we have? Oh, not storage. My pockets. We saw the Aurora wall. We have the Turkey Day wall, which looks like this. It looks like um, that, that kind of ruched curtain look, which is very, very nice. And then... Oops, that's just my axe. So I believe that is all for the wallpapers and floors and rugs. Um, let's see, is there anything I missed? So the festive wrapping paper, I'll just wrap something to show you guys what it looks like. It looks really pretty. This is what you saw in the trailer when you deliver the presents. And this is a DIY, so you can make more of those. Um, well, yeah, what do you guys think? Uh, are you guys pumped for the new items? Are you guys mad Nintendo locked their time traveling? Do you guys already have the items? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button.